Hello, do you want a free money management tool that you can use immediately to help you save and invest money consistently? Watch till the end. Yes, so it's very easy to do. You just have to, step one, you just have to go to Google Sheets, so it's available to access in your Google account. So if you have a browser, go to your browser or install the Google Sheets app. So what will we do? What we'll do is to divide our income into three manageable buckets. So if you watched my previous one minute personal finance video where I talked about the easiest and most basic money management technique. I will link you to this post in the caption of this video so that you can review it. And if you've already watched it, then you came to the right place because I'll teach you how to create a very simple tool that you can use right away to do that specific and basic money management technique. And it's called the 70-20-10 technique. All right, so let's go. So if you're on Google Sheets, just open a new spreadsheet. So open a new spreadsheet. And for this very basic money management tool, you just need four columns so we want to keep it simple so the first column is where we'll put our income okay and then so just follow along while i do this and then on the second column let's put our giveaway portion of our income for the second, for the third column, it's our savings or investments column. And finally, for the fourth column, it's our expenses. Alright, so that's just as simple as it gets. So what I do personally, I have more than three columns, but if you're starting out, you can start with these. First, so if, for example, you received an income, so let's say let's start January 2020. 2020. So let's put, let's say you earned a, a net income of 50,000 pesos. What you'll do to separate these income into percentages is to simply press the equal sign click on your income and then multiply it to the uh, percentage that you want to put or want to allocate for this particular um, segment or section or jar of your income so let's say it's 10 percent so 10 percent and then so this is ap applying the 70 20 10 or 10 20 70 rule so 10 percent giveaway again do the same process for your savings and investments click on your income multiply to 20 percent or 0.2 you get ten thousand. And then the rest, again, equal sign, click on the income, multiply to 0.7. All right? So that totals to your income of 50,000. And that's it. So that means if you earn this amount for a certain month, you can give away this amount and then save or invest the 20 percent and then go ahead and spend that thirty-five thousand, which means 
if for example on your following month or months you earned uh, let's say you earned variable income so it doesn't matter because the system uses percentage so if you earned more income you can save more and you can give away more and you can spend more right so it will be a great system to develop the habit of compartmentalizing your income so let's say you earn 65,000 what's easy if you started this is that you just have to copy and paste the row from your previous month to so highlight those three rows and then copy I just pressed Control C on my Windows system and then Control and V so that way well, let's say 65,000 sorry for that that way we have automatically used the 10 percent 20 percent and the 70 percent for our expenses so again if you're not yet used to the 10 20 70 my um suggestion is to start with the management manageable ex um, percentages for yourself so you can use 10 10 80 or you can start with let's say five percent give away five percent and then 15 percent for savings and investments and then 80 percent for expenses so the the mindset here is to get the habit going okay so if you have the habit and you can use increasing percentages per month for example or maybe if you're employed per cutoff you can increase the savings percentage and the giveaway percentage gradually so the we can reach our ideal of 10 20 and 70. now for the advanced um people or advanced um for the advanced version of this money management tool it's just easy to um set up no you just have to add more columns that you like maybe you can add um savings for spending maybe you're um you're actually saving up for let's say a down payment for a house maybe a down payment for um a vehicle a car for example or you want to start a business so you can easily um, get columns or add columns to this sheet this free google sheet and then you can just input your amount and then you just you'll get the results instantly of how much you can save up or you can spend for a particular column again this is just a rule of thumb 10 20 and 70 but it's really my suggestion i highly recommend that you target at least 20 percent to savings and investments okay so this is just a short video i'll also give you a link to this free spreadsheet when i post this video so i'll be putting the link so you can check out how easy to use and how easy it is to set up okay you just need your google sheet and you just need to type in the columns that you want for you to start managing your money and give you consistent habit to save and invest for your future financial goals so if you are uh if you benefited from this video please 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 share like and subscribe to my youtube channel comment down below if you have any suggestions or any reactions or if you're already using this i'd like to hear your story comment it below so i can 
read all your stories and uh, let's discuss. Okay? So, I hope this gave value to you. And if you want, um, you can share this to people who may be struggling with money management because this is very simple, it's easy to do, and they can start right away. So again, this is Argel of argeltiburcio.com saying, if you build the habit now, you can um, easily you can easily you don't focus on the amount focus on the habit so you can easily and consistently save and invest for your future so if again if you like this please share please comment please like and tell your friends about it tell your family about it so that's it this ends our very short money management tool video and I hope you enjoyed it. See you!